This is hydrogen tap. This is, will be the third in a series of three post removal of the focus cell from the Honda. The reason for all three of these is to examine the cell and the tube to make sure that everything is the way it should be. See if there was any problems inside the cell. I hate pulling the cell apart, but this really does help. One of the there's a few questions I had and always had, and that was whether this goop that I've been using will hold under the extreme heat conditions. And I'm looking at it here, and uh, this glue really, really does work. Here I've glued the extenders or the uh, spacers. See if I can get one here to show you. Okay. So this is the way the electrode fits through the top. You can see I have a nylon spacer that goes through it. Goes through like this. So I glued the bottom so it would make a seal. And that's what you're looking at here. And there, I can't even budge this. I've tried using a screwdriver to pull it up. I can't even do that. It is glued really tight, which is fine. But it does show that glue really works. And this was operating under the hood. And while I was drawing over 30 amps. And here's some of it over here. And you can see it's still stuck on there. Didn't come off at all, even with that little piece. As far as it fit in the hole, that goop just sealed it. Also on the top, no problems at all. In fact, if I pull this, the reason for this pipe here so this was on the top so I could close it so I didn't have to buy a bigger or smaller cork. These are artificial corks, they're not real corks. But so far everything is really, really turned out to be correct call. Here's the electrode everyone's been asking me about. I've changed now to a screw instead of this. But it's in that hole tight because of the goop. It's very tight. The next piece is the tubing that I was using. You can see it's reinforced of some sort. It's uh, 5 eighths. A lot of people ask me for that. This is 5 eighths tubing and you can see the brown in there, that's that rust color garbage that we keep looking at. And this tube has not changed whatsoever since it's been under the hood. Everything so far that I've put together with this focus seems to be the right call. This is slightly wired because it went over the uh, fitting. But it is, this tube has worked fine. There's nothing about it that shows any heat stress at all. Bottom, where I have the spill poured or the water out. You can see this, these ports that I'm using, they're actually from boat shop. Heat has not done anything to them. They're in there really tight. The goop has just totally made the day on this. Not a, not a stretch, not a... Nothing has changed on this. If you go back some videos from about a year ago, I actually took these, fit some of these fittings and put them in boiling water and 
had no problem with it at all. It didn't even move with that. So that's why I'm using them. Everything I use on the Focus is from a, a long series of tests. I wouldn't put anything on there unless it did test. So I had these in boiling water and they still didn't stretch. And you can see this plastic that I use, which is a half an inch. Absolutely no distortion at all on this. Here again is the goop on the bottom. Absolutely no question about the way it's working. It is, it is really doing a fantastic job. There's the bottom of it. You can see the, uh, this is the overflow here of the goop when you squash down on the to what I do is I put the goop on the bottom and then I put a weight on here weight on the tube and so you get this overflow of the goop again no problem looking at the half inch acrylic which I use no distortions there's the screw holes I mean there's the hole that brace fits in. And you put it in. What we're looking at now, interesting enough, is the rods that go what's going around holding the focus together. And if you look really carefully, this this is not stainless steel. I don't use stainless steel on them. It's, it's too expensive. But this is that coated steel galvanized steel and there's absolutely no rust on here whatsoever. Of course it, it's only been in there for what a few weeks or whatever but still it's clean and I don't think you're ever going to see any rust on this. It is really clean. So I got four of these and they're all in the same condition. So that kind of solves that. I'd love to have used stainless steel, but judging from what I'm seeing here, that's, that's really a waste of money. The only other part in this system that I worried about was the spacers. These are 16 or an inch. Put two of them together to come up with an eighth. The reason for that is so that you can, if you want to try a sixteenth of an inch just remove one. As in all my cells, I try to make it so you can change things. There's absolutely no problem with this from the heat. These are nylon. And uh, aside from the color, I don't see any any difference I get. I have an eye. I can see a thirty-second of an inch difference in anything, and it, it kind of looks like this is a is a really minute difference between this and this. But that's the way they come. They're not perfectly cut. And you can see there's no distortion on this at all. And our final look was the spacer that I have on the bottom of the tube. I'm going to get these machine cuts someday, but right now I use a bandsaw on them in case you're wondering. And there's no distortion on this either. This is this is actually aluminum and I was worried about that, but absolutely no distortion. The final is the nylon screws that go between it. Again, no distortion. I was worried about the metal on the nylon that I put on here and it's absolutely 